Jamaican jerk chicken is the most flavorful chicken you'll ever make on the grill. Stick around, I'll show you how I make it. Okay, let's jump right in. So the first step, we're gonna make a marinade for our chicken. So we're gonna start with some green onions or scallions, depending on which part of the country you're from or part of the world. And then we're just gonna rough chop these, just enough to give our blender a head start. And then we're gonna add the juice of two limes and two lemons. And then we're gonna rough chop one shallot, of course, taking off the uh, outer skin. And two sweet yellow onions. Okay, let's talk peppers. Now this is traditionally made with Scotch bonnet peppers, which are of course hard to find. Uh, so I've got habanero peppers here. These actually look a little bit like Scotch bonnets. You see how this habanero has got a pointed end and this one's kind of rounded. So who knows, maybe somebody messed up and got some Scotch bonnets in. They're basically the same. The uh, habanero is a little bitter, but if you are uh, man enough to eat a habanero and taste the bitterness, then uh, more power to you. Let's use these two ripe ones. Now these are crazy spicy. Jalapenos are between 2,500 and 8,000 on the Scoville scale, where these habaneros and Scotch bonnets are gonna be between 100 and 350,000 way hotter. So we're only going to need a little bit. I'm just going to use two. Yeah, why don't you try one of those peppers? Oh yeah, these? This would be easy, like not spicy at all, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know, maybe later. Okay, now we're going to throw some ginger in there. Managed to get my hands on some fresh ginger. You can use uh, dry ginger as well. If you're using dried ginger, you want to put in about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. Uh, as fresh ginger, all I'm gonna do is skin it. Doesn't have to be all of the skin, doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just gonna rough chop this. And the reason is because ginger is really fibrous, so we're just gonna give the blender a little bit of a head start. Now I've got about a dozen cloves of peeled garlic. I've got a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, quarter cup of soy sauce or tamari if you're gluten-free or on keto, quarter cup of brown sugar or brown monk fruit sweetener if you're on keto like me, two tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of salt, a cup of a neutral oil, traditionally you'll be using palm oil. Olive oil is fine if you don't have palm oil. In a traditional recipe, you'd be using allspice berries. Those are traditional for Jamaican flavors. Now the flavor profile of allspice is made up of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. I like to control each of those flavors, so I'm gonna use those flavors separately. I'm gonna go a little heavy with two tablespoons of cinnamon, a teaspoon of nutmeg, and clove has a really strong flavor, so be careful with the quantity here. We're just gonna use a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Okay, one final ingredient that we need for authentic Jamaican jerk chicken, and that is of course, our herb. What? Oh, I don't know what you guys were talking about. I'm talking about my favorite herb to cook with, thyme. So we're gonna take about a dozen stalks of thyme. Don't even need to take the leaves off. We're gonna throw these right in the blender. Okay, let's get our chicken ready. So uh, we've got a little bit of extra skin and fat that we're gonna trim. It's not too bad. Now, a lot of the videos you see on YouTube have uh, the chicken being cut into parts. My experience in Jamaica was that they cooked the chicken whole. So what we're gonna do is spatchcock this chicken. So I'm just gonna start by cutting the backbone out. All right. And then to spatchcock, we're gonna flatten the chicken. So what we're gonna do is cut a slit right here in the cartilage, and you'll see that it falls sideways and now when I turn it over I can just press down on the breast and you hear it crack and now I've got a chicken that will cook flat. So let's get it into the marinade. For this I like to use these three gallon bags. You can get them from Ziploc, you can get them from Hefty. And now I'm going to pour about half of this jerk paste that we just made right over the chicken and then with my gloved hand I'm going to massage it into the bird right here in the bag, and I wanna get as much coverage as I can. I wanna make sure the exposed meat gets some marinade and the skin gets some marinade. Okay, you know that thing where you forget a step and then you figure out how to recover? Welcome to that moment in my life. So the step I forgot is I like to score the skin of the chicken so that the marinade can get through. So I'm gonna do it right here in the bag 
All I'm doing is making slices. Don't worry about going too deep or too shallow. We're just trying to open this up a little bit. We wanna get the legs and the thighs. We've already got the breasts here. Get a slit down each wing. And now the marinade can get all the way to the meat. Okay, so this goes into the refrigerator where it's gonna stay overnight. You can marinate this up to two days, but please do at least 12 hours to give these flavors time to develop. I'll be back tomorrow. At least for me, it'll be tomorrow. For you, it'll be like that. Hey, welcome to the backyard. The uh, chicken has been marinating in this amazing jerk paste for a little over 24 hours, uh, making me wait to taste it. Uh, if you're new here, by the way, this is Darth. He's my extra large big green egg, and that's what we're gonna be cooking on today. I hope if you're new here, you've already figured out this is not a vegan cooking show. Eat More Vegans is all about cooking vegans. You know, cows that were grain and grass fed and pigs that ate corn and acorns and stuff of that nature. And these heritage chickens are of course raised as vegans. Uh, and so we're gonna cook and eat this chicken today. So let's go ahead and head over to Darth and get this chicken on. So Darth is running at 350 degrees. I've got him set up for direct heat. If you can see in here, there's no plate setter. And you can see I lit it differently. Instead of just lighting in the center, I've got heat all the way around because we're gonna be using this whole grill service. So let's get this chicken on the grill. Who do you think you are putting me on this grill? You're not even a good cook. You know nothing about barbecue. Why do you even have a YouTube channel? God, you are a jerk chicken. Well, at least you will be after we grill you. All right, so I'm gonna put you on here, skin side down to start. And the reason is because I don't want that direct heat to dry out the meat and so you notice i'm going to spread this out so i've got the legs all the way out with contact i'm going to tuck the wings under and this is how we're going to let it go for probably a half an hour and we'll come back and check temperature and see if it's ready to turn over okay so while that chicken is on the grill we're going to make a traditional jamaican side that's often served with jerk chicken and that is plantains. These look like bananas, but they're plantains. Now you'll notice a little bit of different colors, a little bit of green on here, a little bit of yellow, and some of these have started to turn black. The darker they are, the more ripe they are. So this one's a little greener than I would like, but these are the ones the store had, so these are the ones that we're gonna make. And I'm gonna show you a really simple way to do these on the grill. By the way, a lot of people ask me about my knives. This is the Dahlstrong 10 inch and chain chef's knife, uh, the Shogun series. Uh, I've been using Dahlstrong knives since before I started the channel. Uh, and they, uh, like a lot of my partners, have offered a discount to all of you. So um, you're gonna see a discount code coupon on the screen right now and a link, and I'll put a link in the description so you can click on it and get that discount after you're done watching the video. Matter of fact, you'll see that uh, coupon graphic a couple of times, because every time I use a product where somebody gives us a discount. I'll make sure that we put that up there for you. For this preparation, I'm gonna leave these in the skins and I'm gonna start by just putting some oil on here, avocado oil, olive oil, whatever you want. We're gonna put them directly on the grill. So try to use something with a high smoke point. And then I'll rub that in there. Ooh, gooey oil, yum. Okay, now I'm just gonna sprinkle some kosher salt. And then I've got some brown sugar here. Now, you guys know I'm keto. These plantains are distinctly not keto, so I'm not gonna bother with a sugar substitute. We're just gonna put these on there, and this is gonna be our cheat snack for the week, even though the Jamaican jerk chicken is perfectly keto. Okay, it's been a half hour. Let's see what our chicken looks like. Oh, we're getting some good color there. I think it's time to flip. Oh, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna spread these legs out so they get some heat on the other side. Let's go ahead and put our plantains on all the way around the outside here. You guys know why the jerk chicken crossed the road? To sh tell the chef to cluck off. Ha ha ha, dad joke. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes and start checking temperatures. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Looks like we got some good caramelization starting on the plantains. Let's see how we're doing on the chicken. All right, so we're good. We're about 130 here. We're looking for 165 in the breast and we take it off maybe at 160 and let some continuation cooking. This should be about 175. So we're getting close. So let's turn these plantains over and get a little bit of grill marks on the plantain since we've got that caramelization anyway. 
Notice I'm using a heat protective glove. Do not do this without the right gear at home. All right, we'll be back in another 15 minutes and see how those are doing. Okay, but another 15 minutes. Let's see how we're doing here. Uh, not quite. Still got some room to go here. Still got some room to go here. All right, some things can't be rushed. So let's uh, go ahead and brush some more of our jerk paste on this skin side, and then we'll flip this over. All right, now let's see how these plantains look. All right, we got a little bit of grow marks on there. We're gonna add one more layer of flavor because these plantains are too nice. So what do you do when somebody's too nice? Turn them into a jerk. I'm gonna put some of our jerk sauce, our jerk paste here right on the plantains and get that flavor as another layer. All right, we'll be back in another 15 minutes. I wish you guys could smell this. All right, yeah, we're there on the thighs, maybe even a little over, I hope it didn't dry them out, and we're there on the breast. All right, so let's get this chicken off. As you can see, it came apart when I flipped it over last time, but that's a good problem to have. Bark, bark, bark. Yeah, who's the jerk now? All right, and the plantains, they still need a little bit more time. We're looking for these to be a little squishy, so I'll just get them closer to the center here. Let them keep cooking while we cut up that bird. Okay, it's finally time. Like I waited since yesterday for this. I know this is gonna be good. What do I want? You know what? This white meat looks so juicy. Normally I eat dark meat. I think I'm gonna take a piece of white meat. Pat, you wanna taste? Yeah. All right, what do you want? Drumstick? I think you like drumsticks, right? All right, here you go. All right, cheers. Cheers to you guys. So good. What do you think, Pat? Amazing, you guys try the pepper now? The pepper. All right, here goes nothing. Hey, check out this video next where I made Filipino adobo chicken. And if you've already seen that one, check this one out. I think you're gonna like that one too. See you next time on Eat More Vegan. <laughs>